Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to slow the run game down, whether it be inside zone from shotgun or goal line or red zone run plays that people like to run from like the two or the three yard line. I find these very successful for me, and I think you will too. Now I'm in the Detroit Lions defensive playbook because there's a formation in here that I'm starting to like a lot. It's the 335 Sam, and it also has the dime sugar. So if I need to send like a three or four man blitz and have my opponent block his running back, this defense comes into play when it's obvious passing situations. And I have 335 wide and I have 245 double A gap. Those formations, the only sacrifice I'm making is the regular 335. However, this makes up for it tremendously, especially with slowing down the run. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, how I've been doing it online. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, become a member. Members, the Trey Y Flex full ebook is in the member section. Now I'm gonna drop a scheme for members out of the 335 Sam onto the member section with the regular 335. So if you wanna make your custom defensive playbook, which I'm gonna do anyway, I'm gonna make my own and I will do that probably on live stream. So if you wanna join and just add them to your own playbook in real time, we'll be able to do that together. So 335 Sam Detroit Lions playbook. Now substitutions is key. You wanna make sure you have your safeties in here. Actually, you really want linebackers and you can try it with linebackers. However, if I'm playing someone in shotgun formation, I never know when they're gonna pass. So I just go ahead and I put my safeties in there. So Stevens, 91 speed. I'll take Queen out of here and I will put, uh, you know what? I can't remember this guy's speed. Let's put Stone. And then down here, okay, you're gonna have Houston. You're gonna have Wolf here and you'll have Bowser and you'll have Campbell. You want Campbell where he's at. Who do we have substitution? Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good right here. And then over here, this is key. We're gonna take Clark out of this position and we're gonna put our fastest corner. That's gonna be our user. 57 overall Westry. This guy's getting me picks and he's a 57 overall. So 335 Sam, name of the play is the crossfire three seam, okay? This one right here. Now against, like I said, shotgun formations, let's just pick what you're gonna see a lot of Trey, Trey Y flex inside zone. I'm gonna show you guys the step to stop this, okay? So if we leave the play stock and we're using our linebacker, right? He can run inside zone. I could come around and stop it, right? You could come around and you can stop it yourself. However, it's all situational. It depends on the blocks. You wanna loop around your linebacker to stop this. Okay, you see how he turned the other way? Some people are gonna do that. So if they do that, you're gonna have to switch. But this isn't the full setup. This is just a base setup that you can use. You can even, oh, I didn't do it, but you can come around, but you see how he knows I'm coming around to stop him? He's gonna switch sides. So that's actually eventually gonna hurt you. You could try to pinch yourself, okay? And then you wanna loop around the linebacker with stone. We're gonna loop around, okay, see the big hole? We wanna just make it very easy for ourselves. So this is what we're going to do. If the running back is on the right side, we're gonna shift our entire defense to the left side. So RB or R1, shift defense you see that box over here on the left side shift left okay now you can do whatever you want with the linebacker you can do whatever you want with stevens you can put him on a hook curl or hook curls to the left stick you can keep him like this you can man him up to y but you got to put stone on a spy okay and then i'll shade underneath like this and i'm gonna leave it you see do you see my man uh campbell's pass rush angle that's going to help his inside stuff activate because that's an ability that he has and shed attempts are free on run play. So if you have this type of defensive lineman, it's gonna be beneficial to you if you're playing Mutt. However, you probably wanna, you don't really need him, but I'm just saying he makes it better, makes it more effective to stop the run, but you don't really need him, okay? Because you can use other teams and run this same setup and then I just keep myself behind this linebacker because you don't know if it's a pass. You want to watch this tight end on the seam because it will cook you right here in this formation. So I'm watching it. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just rush. Now you get a free release with the spy to the running back for the most part. So let's do it again. Shift them over. Man up Y. Like that. You can do whatever you want to coverage, man. It's all up to you. You can even put yourself on a spy if you don't want to get that automatic uh, release to the line and you just run. You'll see everybody's just going to, they're going to crowd around the inside zone immediately from this formation. It is just an awesome, awesome setup. And you have good coverage on the field still. Like this is good coverage still. We're, we're still, we still got good coverage with this play right here. Now you can keep your blitz too. Is he going to snap the ball, bro? 
Yeah, he is. Boom. We want to run. Now, right there, he... I mean, there's not really much you can do about that. But let's say you use her the spy. You could probably even use her the spy if you want to try to get a free release. I don't know. You may have to just keep Westry where... I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to spy myself, and I'm just going to jet down. So right there, you get a free release with stone as well to the inside zone using this. And this is going to be for any trips formation as long as you set it up the way I'm telling you, bro. Okay, make, make sure you man up or put him in a zone on the right side. Put yourself in a spy, and then you're just going to jet to the inside zone. Right here. Boom. Now, if you have an enforcer or someone that can cause fumbles, that is going to be your best bet right there. Okay, so here we go again. Now, let's leave my man on a blitz, okay? And let's bring Westry down. Let's man him up on the tight end, but let's bring, uh, let's bring him on his blitz, okay? Let's see what happens here. You still get good free release with this guy, okay? So you have two choices. You can either sit back and try to bait the pass, or you can set it up, move everybody over, man up your inside guys, man them up to, to the tight end because you never know. Uh, play a hard flat, whatever. I wouldn't recommend pressing in cover three. Not this year. Not yet, at least. And get your free release to the inside zone, bro. Boom. And it, see how I push, bro, that happens. And if you're facing Derrick Henry, that happens. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and talk about how to stop red zone plays because this one is not going to work against like single back. You know what I mean? So we're going to pick another play, and it's going to be from the 3 through 5 wide, and it's going to be cover 2 man defense, okay? And then over here, we'll go to single back. If they, We'll do inside zone from single back. Now, we want to respot the ball. Okay, with this setup right here, this is what you want to do. You're going to press, shade underneath, shade inside, okay? Shade underneath, shade inside. You're going to spread the line, crash them down, put these guys in spies, and just move them in a little bit like this, okay? So just move them next to you, all right? That way, if they do try to run the ball, these guys will be ready to attack instantly. It gives you an extra boost with the run game, and it's going to be harder for them to get into the end zone. Now, another thing that you can do is if you're finding that it's not working well enough for you, okay, you move them in, spread the line, and crash them out. So you could do it this way. Now, you got to pay attention to your assignment, so be careful. Your assignment is the left side guy in case he does try to pass it. But if not, you want to jet inside and close these lanes bro they will close they will close fast with these spies bro now if stretch runs are killing you like in the red zone they're like man this guy's just scoring on stretches you can come to cover four show two okay follow my lead let's go ahead and we're in wing tight z they should have a stretch play in here stretch right here this is what you do follow my steps baseline press okay put this guy on a, a spy put this guy on a spy make sure you shade underneath okay and make sure you move this guy in the spy out of the line this guy goes out of the line. You see the offensive line. Make sure he clears the line and he's out of it. Make sure he clears the line and he's out of it. Now, what you're susceptible to the pass play. So your user has to be on point, but we're selling out for the one run. We're trying to stop the run. That is our goal right now. So right when he snaps the ball, we're going to just follow the stretch. This way, you're going to see your safety actually got a free release, bro. Like we get free releases for the stretch plays. And you can actually use this. Uh, it doesn't even have to be in the red zone. So base line press, spy this guy if you want. Spy this guy for sure. Bring him away from the offensive line. Shade underneath. Make sure that your flats are there just in case he tries to throw something quick. And you should get a free release right here. Um, bro, I keep missing that. That's because I'm trying to hit stick. If I go for the tackle, it would probably be a lot better. So base line press. Put this guy on a spy put this guy in a spy and move him out just in case they run stretch to the left we're ready on both sides and i'm just gonna run boom and he can't move into the end zone with that setup one more time baseline press this way we'll try we'll try one more stretch after this so you guys can see now remember like i said we're selling out for the stretch so it's it's, it's gonna be situational obviously but you're seeing like we got people just going in there let's pick a different stretch with the same defensive play uh from the three three five wide we just got to find one from, uh, where are we at? Cover four, show two. And then let's go ahead and go wing pair. Wing pair has a stretch play. Well, I don't know. I think he'll, I think he'll hand the ball off on this one. Cause it's the CPU doing it. Baseline press, bring him away from the, the, the line, bring him away from the line shade underneath. Same thing. This is going to be the same thing. We're going stretch to the left. We get a free release. We hit him. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, your user is part of the game. Your user is going to have to be there. Bring him away from the offensive line. He's already away from the offensive line, shade underneath. So if they try to run stretch, man, you're ready for it. 
for the most part, your opponent doesn't know that you're actually the one that's you're putting your guys in spies. So be careful, be ready, right? Situational, you, you got to give up something to try to make something work. And with the game being the way it is, where it's very overpowered in the run, you're going to have to make sacrifices and, and take high risk, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys, man. Peace. <laughs>